So today we begin Romans chapter 8. Therefore, there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. So we have to look at therefore. Why is it therefore? It usually refers back to writing that has happened before. Well, we just covered chapter 7. Chapter 7, Paul says you have a sinful nature. You're going to lose out to that sinful nature more than you like to admit. I doubt that's the reason we have no condemnation. And by the way, let's go ahead and cover condemnation while we're there. No condemnation means no judgment of God. Condemnation has to do with God's wrath. As believers, we will never experience God's wrath. Why? You need to look at the rest of the passage we're covering today, verses 2 through 4. Also think back to the chapters 3 and 4 we've covered there. It surely wasn't chapter 5 where Paul tells us we have a sinful nature from Adam. We have, we're bent towards sin, chapter 6 tells us. No, it's because Jesus paid the price for us. The justification we have is by faith. Justification, remember, just as if we had died and paid the penalty. The righteousness that God gives us is freely given to those who believe. Now, let's bring this home to us. Okay, that's great. How does that make me live differently? Well, first of all, when you come to Christ, you have a new nature. And by nature, yes, we still sin. Yes, we're still going to mess up. We're going to disappoint ourselves. We're still going to look back and go, how did I do that? But... Along with that, that new nature means that you don't give in to temptation that you would have given in to when you were an unbeliever. It means that your life doesn't end up being the same train wreck as other believers going down the same path. Other unbelievers, sorry. Other unbelievers going down the same path of life are tripped up by temptations that you're not tripped up by. Why? Because the Spirit of God is within you. The new nature is within you. You don't fall into the pit of sin. You don't suffer the consequences of sin as unbelievers do. So, okay, again, why does that matter? Here's the where two things. It ought to make us incredibly thankful. Look at what God's done in your life. Number two, it ought to give you encouragement to share with others. We can see the train wreck others people other people's lives are. Do we ever go out and share Jesus with them? The same God that changed your life is the same God that will change their life and make it where they're not falling into the pits of sin like they used to. Our encouragement, our motivation should be to share our faith with others. We've been freely forgiven. There's nothing we've done to deserve it. As we've been freely forgiven, freely give. Who can you share your faith with today and make a difference in their life? Want to read the whole devotional? Go to the link at the bottom of the page. We'll see you tomorrow.